Hi there. This is the third video in the Smart Receipts tutorial series. If you are a new user and haven't seen videos one or two yet, please stop this video and start there. In this video, we will show you how to generate a report of receipts into a compact file. This is helpful for if you need to give your expenses to the office accountant or any other individual who needs eyes on them. You can see in the report that I've added more receipts. My expenses are ready to be submitted for this report, so I'm going to switch to the Generate tab. The Generate tab is the icon to the right of the plus button, and it looks like a dot connected to two other dots. This is the sharing icon. After tapping the Generate tab, you will see some different options. First are the PDF options. A full PDF report will include receipt images, PDF attachments, and tables breaking down the receipt data. The PDF report with no table will just be a report of receipt images and PDF attachments. The CSV report is an Excel file that will only contain receipt data, no images or attachments. The zip report is a compressed folder of your receipt files, and the zip with metadata option will return the same files but show additional information. Additionally, you're free to customize the columns used on your PDF and CSV reports from the settings screen. Changing the columns in one will not change the columns in the other. If you'd like to modify the CSV output, tap on Customize CSV Output. And if you'd like to modify the PDF columns, tap on Customize PDF Output. Now let's generate our report. Tap the files you would like to generate. I'm going to make a PDF report and an Excel file. Then tap on the center purple button to generate the report files. When they are ready, you will be shown different apps you can share the files with. I'm going to email myself the files and then open them to show you what they look like. In my email, you can see that I have received two reports, one CSV file and one PDF file. If I tap on the CSV file and open it, you can see all the data from my report. If I tap on the PDF file, I can see the different columns of data and the receipt images. I marked this one as a full page, so it takes up a full page on the report. These ones I did not mark as a full page, so they are divided. And that's how you share a report from Smart Receipts. The last tab in Android is the Graph tab, where you can see your expenses separated by category. In iOS, the Graph option is actually found in the top left of the screen. The bottom right in the tab section will actually be an overflow menu similar to the one for Android in the top right. Well, that's it for now. Don't forget that if you have any questions regarding this video or anything else within Smart Receipts, you can refer to our website, www.smartreceipts.co, where we have a user guide, or you can contact us via email at support at smartreceipts.co.